right, so let's get into the world of business now. The Lagos State Internal Revenue Service, LIRS, has announced January 31st as the deadline for business and individuals to file their annual tax returns for the year 2023. Now, this was disclosed by the head of the relations management units of the LIRS, Mujisola Aboyade uh, uh, Cole, during an interview. According to her, businesses can file their tax returns electronically via the e-tax platform, as it has been done in the last four years. And business owners are mandated by law to file their tax returns on behalf of their employees. Furthermore, she stated that businesses are required to file four major returns on the platform, annual tax returns, income projection, withholding taxes, and schedule of remittances. On deadlines and possible extensions, she stated it has been conventional practice for businesses to file their tax returns by January 31, and the only exception was during the COVID-19 period. Mm. Now to another business story. Now the cost of air travel rose by 11.01% in November when compared to the same period in, the, in the, the year before it. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the NBS Transport Fair Watch Report obtained by our correspondent indicated that the cost of a single journey, the cost for a single journey, saw 81,334 Naira uh, 5 Kobo in November from 73,270 Naira 27 Kobo in November of the year before it. The report stated on air travel, it stated that the average fare paid by air passengers for specified routes for a single journey was 81,000. 334 Naira, 5 Kobo in November, showing an increase of 3.24% compared to the previous month. On a year-on-year -year basis, the fare rose by 11.01% from 73,270 Naira, 27 Kobo in November of the previous year. Now, due to the security challenges across, uh, ac across the country, many Nigerians have opted to travel by air, of course. Operators had attributed the rise in airfares to a hike in aviation fuel prices and foreign exchange scarcity that the country is experiencing, which had shot up airlines' operating costs. All right, those are business stories that we have for you at this moment. Um, we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have uh, James Adoyi taking us into the world of sports.